Hi folks, and uh, welcome to the video tutorial for Oliver's tune. So this song is capoed on the second fret, and like I did with the other tutorials, we're going to sort of reset the guitar, um, and as I'm calling out chords, I'll be calling out the chords as if we were in first position. So for example, this will be called C, even though it's really a D. So, uh, this is how it goes. I'll play the little intro part, and I'm playing this one also with a pick, so it goes like this. So, that's a C with a G in the bass. Hammering on using my index finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And notice my thumb, my thumb is kind of covering the bass here on when I go to that F shape. And that, that hammer on that's happening. alternating between that C with the G in the bass and that, that F. So, um, so that's kind of how you play the intro. And then the uh, verse goes like this. Uh, so I'll go through telling you the chords and then I'll just play through it once. So, and though I've got my number C with a G in the bass, E minor. Minor, G, F, E minor, F, G. Um, so it w if you're singing along, it'll go, Ooh, I've got my number, I am come here in the store. And notice that I'm being really uh, conservative with my right hand, um, so I'm not I'm not kind of strumming the whole guitar. It's not like it's just a really light, just kind of focusing on those those low bass notes, and it's almost more about the percussive element than anything else. Right? Alright, so that will uh, cover you for the verses. Uh, and then the pre-chorus goes like this. And if I look too far, so F, if I look too far ahead of me, C. I'm just following along on the bass there, so C. And I just drop to that, that B note. Then to a D minor 7, I'm getting that nice ringing high E note, kind of a cool sound, to the G, again I play my G's sometimes when I'm doing a bar chord with my thumb covering the bass note, you could of course do it like that, I don't know why I just like that sound better even though it probably sounds exactly the same. A stumble into the chorus F and really it's not sad G Cause here I am playing C Following on the bass so from the third fret to the second fret back to the F The first chorus is just a single time, uh, the second chorus it does that twice. Uh, and coming out of the second chorus, so let's fast forward a bit to the second chorus. So, a stumble and a tread D, but really it's not sad, you see. Just sliding that shape, same shape up. Tread D, it's here I am playing my final song. Same thing. With all of you surrounding.
right? Just pulling off that index finger for that. Putting it back on. To the bridge, which goes F. G. To an A minor. So what I'm doing there is I'm just picking out a little bit of a, a bass pattern. Um, that A minor. So just gives a little bit of, of motion to it, but you could just stay on the A minor too. G. Back to that little shape that we played off the top. the outro and I'm not one F tell people what I see and drop it to the B C again C but with the B in the bass F and again that really percussive thing do those things G you've always wanted to with a C so there you go. That should hopefully cover uh, all the different parts for Oliver's tune. Good luck, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.